Hello, hello, hello. Greetings, 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 everyone. I hope everybody's having a magnificent solar type of Thursday. Tomorrow is the special day when the um, the moon and the earth and the sun all do their little dance. So that's what we're going to be speaking about today. And also just, um, you know, speaking about the power of the aligning the alignments of the planets and how we should definitely take advantage of this energy that is coming down on this planet today and also you know tomorrow and three days after um you know a lot of people we know we definitely talk about you know tomorrow's going to be in cancer you know but we really never talk about the power in the moon right so I'm glad you guys are here today, and um, I'm not really sure how my internet connection is. Peace, peace, peace. If you can hear me, can you just comment? Um, okay, there you go. Hey, peace, peace. What's going on, Tom Weathers? What's going on, Hash? How you guys are doing? Peace, peace. Okay, cool. So you can hear me. All right, all right. Come on in, y'all. Come on in. I'm about to bust this message out. Um Please share this live before I get deep into this live. I want everybody to hear this. I want everybody to hear this live. So if you're just getting in, hey, it's three people in here, right? So just share the video. You know, it doesn't take much time. You just hit the share button. And before you know it, it's, it's shared, right? So we definitely want people to hear this information so that they also can take advantage of this new moon tomorrow. Because that's what we're going to be speaking about. We're going to be speaking about the new moon. So give me just uh, 60 seconds, and I'm going to dive into it. I'm just trying to ask some people on here um, as we speak. So tomorrow is this the new moon in Cancer and the solar eclipse. So what is a solar eclipse? A lot of people don't know what the solar eclipse is. Well, the solar eclipse happens when, how I like to say, the moon, the sun, and the earth all do the dance, right? So the sun passes between the two, and it becomes dark for a little bit, right? Just just for a tad bit, right? But on the spiritual sense, when that passing of the moon and the sun happens, the veil is being thin, really, really thin, right? For example, you know when Halloween happens, um, also, that's another time where the veil is very thin. It's very thin from the quote-unquote dead and the quote-unquote awakening life, right? The, th the veil is very thin, so it's very good for you to do ancestral work and connect with your uh, deceased loved ones when that portal happens in Halloween, right? Well, it's the same thing with these solar eclipse. It's the crossroads. You're able to... Um, Tap into other dimensions because whether you you know it or not, there's dimensions on top of dimensions on top of dimensions. Like there's another inhabitants of people living like right beside me, you know, at a, a whole different type of frequency, you know. And when you get real quiet and you get really aware, you can also see these different type of beings operating in these different um, dimensions. So tomorrow's new moon is powerful. In so many different levels. First, let's just talk about tomorrow's the 13th, right? A lot of people um, are afraid of number 13. They like to say it's a unlucky number, but really what it is is number 13 is transformation. Transformation. That's what the number 13 symbolizes, transformation. It also symbolizes death. For all you guys that read tarot, you know that the number 13 on a tarot card is the death card. Well, death is nothing to fear. We're all going to eventually die. That's not a mystery, right? We know that. But death doesn't always have to mean a physical death. But a death of an aspect of you, a death of a habit that you made of, you know, form, a death of, you know, complaining or making excuses or you know being the victim we die every day every time we go to sleep and we wake up we're reborn there goes your resurrection right there right when you go to sleep and you wake up you a new person you died whoever you was yesterday that person died and you a new person so we have to really 
widen our perception when we think about death. It's just not something that's physical, right? So tomorrow, it is the perfect time to transcend all that doesn't serve your higher, greater good. Transcend it, right? And then transmute and transform into that new version of you, that new version of who you really want to be. You know, right now, a lot of us are walking on the, I like to say the crossroads, right? We're walking on the crossroads in between stuff, knowing we need to do something, but we're on the fence about it. You know, knowing that we maybe need to do a fast, but we're juggling the fence. Like, I know I need to do this fast and I'm feeling it in my body, but okay. But now's the time to change it, right? We can't talk about what we want to do and don't do anything about it, right? That's just insanity, right? If you're the same person that you have been five years ago, then you need to be asking yourself, okay, something got to change. Like something, something got to change. It got to be something different. Because if I'm the same person doing the same thing that I was doing about five to 10 years ago, then it's like, well, when are you going to do something different? So tomorrow, really harnessing in the power of the energy of the number 13 tomorrow. That transformational energy, that death, that ego death. And so tomorrow I'm actually going to be giving a class. And what we're going to do as a community, we're going to go through a whole um, manifestation, money manifestation on this new moon tomorrow on the 13th, right? And so when you think about the sun, right? The sun is like that masculine energy. It's like that that passion, that fire, right? And then when you think about the earth, you think about it being stable, you think about it being ground, you know, you think about being grounded. And then when you think about the moon, you have that receptivity, the passive, right? The yang, the feminine energy. Now think about it. If you take all three of those elements and really know how to use element, like element magic, You'll know how to use those three energies and manifest what you want to manifest tomorrow, right? So what happens is your passion is what you want, you know? It's that manifestation that you really, really want to um, come into this 3D reality. And then the moon is your subconscious mind. Your moon is that receptive point. So what happens is when you think about something that you want, and you pour your passion into it, it's coming through the subconscious mind into this 3D reality. That's where you get the earth element from, right? So as you can see, working with these three energies tomorrow when they're very prevalent is very important. It's very important to harn in this energy. And so... um. I got a brain fart, my bad. And so um, really getting down and grounding, you got to write it down too. You just can't be like, um, I want a brand new home. That's it. Because the universe will bring you a brand new home and it's not the one you want. You got to get down with it. What you want in that home. How many bedrooms they got? Do you got carpet or is it hardwood floors? You got a dishwasher? You want big, you want a lot of cabinet space? How many bathrooms do you want? Do you want a backyard with a garden? What kind of flowers do you want in your garden? Like when you like the, the like your subconscious mind is like the pizza man. Put in your order and you know the pizza man sometimes he's not gonna come in five, six, seven minutes, but he's gonna come, right? It's the same thing. Place your order into your subconscious mind tomorrow. And watch it manifest in your 3D reality, this earth plane, right? So we have to start working with these energies when they come through. And since the veil, hey, peace, peace, peace. Since the veil is going to be so thin, it's actually a great time to start doing ancestor work. You guys, the whole purpose of me doing the money manifestation class tomorrow is so that we can release the blockages all the way down from our ancestral line. 
a lot of us are not receiving money right now because it's all the way down from childhood and all the way down and from to our ancestors we're blocking the abundance instead of receiving the abundance let me tell you money is not our supply no person no place and no thing is our supply we are our supply the moment we can get detached from money because right now we own money like this we like holding it tight but it's a piece of paper it's a piece of paper right when you really think about it it's a piece of paper that can be printed out for the drop of a dime so we out here killing each other for a piece of paper we over here working hard slaving for a piece of paper so of course in this 3d reality we are using fiat money to exchange and to pay our bills and all of that other stuff i know that but what i'm here to tell you is don't be so attached to money where you might even kill somebody because you ain't get no money you might run up your your um your credit card bill because you got to pay some stuff because you're being a slave to the money right we can't be a slave to the money we have to know that we can manifest it at will you know i speak about that a lot like abundance is in everything it doesn't have to per se be fiat money somebody can come down right now and give you a um a fifty dollar gas uh gift gift card guess what that's fifty dollars that you didn't have to come out of your pocket with right so learning how to release these blockages these money blockages that are deep 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 inside of us we have to release these money blockages that are deep inside of us because a lot of energy a lot of new energy is coming in and you got to get your vibration right to be able to usher in these energies that's coming in right we're having a lot of paradigm shifts a lot of us are here to wake up the planet we are here to wake up the planet so the more and more you can get attuned to the vibrational frequencies that's coming through like especially tomorrow the more you're able to help and assist with this planet's awakening we got to do this together you guys we got to do this together the more you can wake up the more we all wake up right that's why i'm so passionate about always shifting paradigms about viewing the world different because these new children that's coming on the scene these indigos these star children they already know what's up they already hip to the game you may not understand it but they know what they're supposed to be doing so it's good that we go ahead and go ahead and get into that new vibrant vibratory frequency so that when these solar eclipse comes and these different portals open up that we're able to tap into these energies right so since the veil is going to be very thin tomorrow like i said working with your ancestors communicating with them seeing where their pain is grieving for your ancestors grieve for them because they're not here to grieve me and my partner three days ago we went to the um to the uh, ocean and we grieve for humanity and this planet because there's so many shifts going on so we just literally grieved however it came out we sung we cried we laughed we splashed around but we expressed that bottle up energy that's inside of us you guys you always hear me say it to live in lack is a sin because we're all blessed and we're all talented so by you not stepping into your full potential you're not going with the universal flow you're not going with 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 nature nature transforms nature expands but if you're staying the same doing the same thing you're not going with the divine flow and you're gonna get left behind you're gonna perish whether your mind is gonna perish or you're gonna physically perish but your energy is not gonna be able to to be in alignment with the now with the newness 
right? So we literally have to come together. That is why I am doing the money manifestation class tomorrow with the community. Because when we can do this together, the more that we're going to wake up everybody on this planet, the more we're going to release our money blockages. That's a real problem. Like, I started off in this arena being a priestess, you know, doing a lot of, um, you know, tarot card readings and um, chakra healing and, you know, cleansing of people's homes and preparing spiritual baths for people. But what I really realized is that spirituality and money is one of the same. So now I'm merging, merging my two businesses, spiritual, the spiritual aspect, my attention awakening business, and my financial business. Because I see that finances can fly over people's head. Budgeting and keeping track of your expenses, that can be boring for some people. It's not boring for me. I'm, I love to do it, right? But I have to also take into consideration that it can be boring for some people. So when you make it ritualistic, right, and you add that spiritual point to it, it makes sense, right? So why not come together as a community tomorrow and release our money blockages? Because we got money blockages all the way back from when we was kids. It gets deep. That's why parents, it's very important that you guys watch what you say into your children. That can scar them for life. Ancestors around. So, you know, I, you know we're going to go all the way back because it's rooted. It's rooted in our DNA. It's rooted in your DNA. For example, maybe you wanted a brand new bike and everybody in your neighborhood had a brand new bike. But your parents told you that y'all don't have enough money. Bikes are too expensive. That can scar you. Think about that. That can scar you. Where, where you think that things are too expensive and you don't have the money for it. That can travel with you. That can be blocking you right now from this day on receiving abundance from childhood. What your ancestors experience around with money is blocking you to this day. We have to get down to the root. We got to get down to the root and clean it out. We got to clean it out before we can manifest anything. Because on this new moon tomorrow is also a good time to plant new seeds. It's great time to harvest new things. I mean, uh, plant new things to get ready to be harvested, right? When that season comes. So before you can even plant anything that you want to bring, you got to get to the root and clean it out first so that you're able to really harness this earth, sun, and moon energy, right? Because they're all going to be working hand in hand. And then we're also going to be creating sigils. Now, I'm not going to get too deep into, mm, excuse me, into what sigils are. If you want to know more about sigils, then you should join my money manifestation new moon uh, class tomorrow. But a brief synopsis of what a sigil is. Um, let me see. Um, uh, McDonald's. I'm loving it. Right? It's a slogan and it's a sigil. Anytime you see that McDonald's quote unquote logo, a logo is like a sigil. A sigil is a logo, right? Anytime you see that McDonald's sign, you already know what it is. It's your subconscious mind picks up on it automatically, right? The subconscious mind doesn't think on a, a structured time. It's very lineal, right? It, 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 it learns by pictures and images, right? So anytime you see, for example, the Facebook icon or the Apple icon, you know, that's the Apple computer without even nobody telling you that. Right. So we're going to be creating our own money sigils. Right. So every time that we see that sigil, we are already embodying the abundance that we truly are because abundance is coming out of us. Money is energy, pure love, high vibrational energy. So if your energy is not right, then no wonder you're attracting certain places, 
people and situations into your life. No wonder. It's a no-brainer, right? But the more you tap into your, your, your energy, the more you bring stuff to you, the more you tap into your divine feminine energy. The divine feminine energy is not about working, 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 working. It's about sitting back and luxuriating and receiving. It's about coming to the point where you just sit down and think and manifest what you want. Like that sitting down and thinking is the masculine point. And then you sitting back and just knowing, letting go and letting God and re remembering how powerful you are, how royal you are. There's no coincidence that you're right now on my frequency. There's no coincidence that you are on my broadcast right now watching this video at this now moment. There's no coincidence. You have been chosen by your ancestors to make the financial difference for your lineage. You are chosen by your ancestors in this now moment to get your stuff together, to stop making the excuses. Everybody always asks me, well, how do you do it? You just do it. And I know it may seem easier said than done. I know it does. But the moment you jump over that fence and you let go and you let God and you have trust, Everything's going to start rolling in for you. Everything. It's going to start rolling, 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 rolling in for you. Rolling, 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 rolling in for you. The moment you let go and the moment you let God, it's going to start rolling, 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 rolling in for you. Rolling in for you. The moment you let go, the moment you let go and let God, it's going to roll in for you. Right? Y'all following me? I want y'all to follow me. All right. That's what's going to happen. But it really takes us. We like to blame people on the outside. It's because of that situation or that situation or I work long or I have kids or I got this or I got that. Blah, 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 blah. OK, life happens. But in order for you to make it to the next level, you have to change and you have to make a difference. You just got to do it. You got to jump over the hurdle of fear. That's the only way. That is the only way. There's no magic. There's no magic to it. It's you. It's you. It's you. It's us. We like to complain about the world is this. The white man is doing this. He killing our people. Trump is doing this. Oh, Trump. Oh, the white man. Oh, the Jews. Complaining, 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 but not making a difference. This is our reality. We make the difference. If we want to stop seeing people get killed on the streets, then we need to go out there and clean the neighborhoods up. We got to make a difference. And we are getting tired of the system. Make your own system. Make your own system. But before you can make your own system, you got to start with self. You got to start with you. You got to start with fixing you first. That's why I'm always striving to fix me first so that I can be the best version to the community. So I can be that, that um, leading by example. Leading by example, because I can't save and wake up everybody. Not everybody's going to get this message that I'm speaking right now. Some people is going to fly over their heads. Some people is I'm planting seeds in your mind right now, and it's going to make sense uh, make sense to you later down the line. Some people's like, oh, shit, like, whoa, she right. Like, whoa, today I'm going to get my shit together. You know, it's levels to this. It's levels to this, you guys. It's levels. But most and foremost, we got to come together as a community and start waking ourselves up so we can wake everybody else up. So in the class tomorrow, we're going to be releasing childhood trauma around money. We're going to be releasing ancestral trauma around money. Okay? 
We're going to be creating sigils, okay? And then we're also going to be doing some other things that I'm not going to be telling you everything about. If you really want to know more about the class, then you should sign up for the class for tomorrow and get the information and go through this ritual with me. Go through this because I'm doing this for myself as well. The more we can help each other, the more we can grow. You know, and then as a bonus, I'm going to be giving away three to five different ways that you can add passive income into your life. Multiple streams of income is the way to go. Money with the least effort is the way to go. Money where you can sit back and look cute in your, in your backyard butt naked is the way to go. So I'm going to be sharing with you three to five different ways that you can bring in another stream of income. Okay? So... I kind of just wanted to get on here and just let everybody know the importance of this new moon solar eclipse in Cancer. Oh, and that's another thing. Let's touch on that real quick. When you think about the sign Cancer, right? Cancer is a water sign, right? And when you think about water, you still think about the moon. And when you think about the moon, you still think about the subconscious mind. Right? Transformation happens in water. Water is your emotions, your emoting, your emotions. So when you can combine your passion and your intention and your emotion in what you want to manifest tomorrow on this beautiful solar eclipse, you're able to bring it through and birth it in this 3D reality. Okay? So it's really time to die. And I know that scared y'all because a lot of people are scared of death, right? But it's really time to die in this moment mentally and spiritually, right? It's really time for us to die from our old habits. It's really time for us to transcend and transform our habits into things, into healthy habits. Because there's nothing wrong with habits, but habits that are expanding your mind. A meditation can be a habit. Getting up every day. Because a habit is something that you do repetitiously, repetitiously, over and over and over and over and over. That's a habit, right? So you can form healthy habits by getting up in the morning every day at a certain time, um, meditating. Every day I get up, I meditate. I give my gratitude list, why I'm, why I'm grateful for, to be alive. I do my Spanish lesson. I look at the Forex market and I set my money up. I go to the gym. I read an auto book. I'm writing my goals from the day. And then I'm doing personal development. And then I get into my business. Those are all habits. I do them every day, repetitiously. Now, some habits that I'm working on, because we all have habits. Right? Nor good or bad. There's no good nor no bad. They just are. Either they're expanding you or they're not expanding you. Don't judge them. Don't be like, well, this is a bad habit and this is a good habit. It is what it is. Point blank, period. Right? So some of the things that I want to transcend and what I'm going to be transcending on the new moon tomorrow with the community and in the class is eating late. I stay up really late sometimes. I'm doing Forex trading. I'm in different meetings. I'm up. I'm just up late. And so when I'm up late, I'm getting hungry, right? But me eating after a certain time and then turning around going to sleep, when I wake up in the morning, I'm feeling sluggish. I don't really feel like doing my meditation because my stomach is feeling weird. But see, that's interfering with my growth. So I have to make the choice. Nobody can help me. You can't help me do that. Only I can help me do that, right? But I can't sit here and complain and be like, oh, every time I wake up, my stomach hurts. Oh, every time I wake up, my stomach hurts. I have to stop eating late. I know I have to stop eating late. I have to stop. No, I have to do it. I have to do it. We can talk all day. Talk is cheaper than a $2 hoe, okay? Talk is cheap. You can talk your damn, you can talk from the side of your ass. Talk, 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 talk. That's all we do, right? 
But what is the plan of action? What is my plan of action for stop eating so late, right? What am I going to do to make it where I cut my food consumption off at a certain time and know that if I'm going to be up past a certain time, I'm just not going to eat? Or maybe I can drink a smoothie or drink a fresh pressed juice. But the choice is always yours. So instead of complaining, really, 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 I can't express it enough. Take advantage of this solar eclipse tomorrow. Take advantage of this new moon in cancer tomorrow. And take advantage of the number 13, which is death. Right? Death and transformation. So, with that being said, if you want to join me and the community tomorrow in this money manifestation and also ancestor and, and childhood regression, let me know. Comment 1313 in the comment uh, bar tomorrow. Because as you know, tomorrow's the 13th. We're going to be starting at the third. Um, on the 13th, the class is $13.13. I'm only taking 13 people for this class. I only have nine slots left. Okay? After this video, I know all my slots are going to be gone. So if you're interested in manifesting with me tomorrow and using some of the tools and techniques that I'm going to be using tomorrow, comment 13. I'll give you more information on how we're going to do this or inbox me. Now, after 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today, the price will go up. It will no longer be 1313, right? The new price will be 2020. So if you want to take advantage of the 1313 price, you better get it before 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right? And if you're really serious about getting into the course, the course, I mean, the, the class, the course, I apologize. But if you're really serious, I'm going to put everything in the description. I'm going to be closing registration down tonight, midnight, right? Tonight, midnight, registration is going to be closed. So you got two deadlines. If you want to take advantage of this class for $13.13, you need to pay it to me. PayPal, Square, uh, Square Cash, Google Wallet, I can receive abundance anyway. Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, gold, however you want to give it to me, right? But at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the price is going up to $20.20. So with that being said, family, it's always a pleasure to be here on behalf of the ancestors and let the ancestors work through me, for me, for us, and for our expansion. I am a light barrier, and I will keep continuing to spread my light upon those who have not yet seen their own light. I promise to keep awakening the dead and bringing them to the light. Because that's my press. That that's that's my purpose. And this is my path to be that light bearing. We're all light bearings. This is no hierarchy, no, no level up. No, we all carry the light. You all have the light. It's about tapping into your light, okay? And bringing it out for, <clears throat> for the good of humanity and this planet. So this has been a pleasure, everyone. This is Isis Love tuning in live and direct. Comment 1313. I'll be reaching out to you right now so you can go ahead and get your payment in. I'm going to be putting the de uh, the, um, the deadlines in the comment bar. Like I said, I only have nine slots left. So let's go ahead and let's manifest this and let's release these, release these blockages, community. Peace, love, and light.